Um, we've also made a lot of progress on uh, safety. So our cars are already the, uh, the safest in the industry. Uh, so we have the lowest probability of injury of any cars ever tested by the, the US government. Um, and uh, we update this in real time. So we, because our cars are, are connected, this is a big difference. Um, all, all the other cars, with rare exception, are not connected. So, that, so the manufacturers don't really know what happened in a crash. But in, in the case of Tesla, we are able to look at crashes and see how can we improve the safety and uh, you know, look, look at the crashes, improve the, 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 the crash structure. Uh, also, uh, we uh, improve how the seat belts tension and how the uh, airbags deploy. So in, in these updates, if we figure out, oh, there's a slightly better way to deploy the airbags to improve the safety in a crash, we'll actually do an over-there update to improve the way that the airbags deploy or the way that the seat belt pretensions. Um, and we're now starting to include uh, our so, uh, Tesla autopilot AI to be able to see if a crash is about to occur, and if it uh, if it's, it sees that a crash is about to occur with 99 plus percent probability, then it will activate this, the seatbelt pretensioners and deploy the airbags, as opposed to uh, the, what the vast majority of cars do is the, the, they only the vast majority of cars are only able to deploy uh, airbags when the crash is happening, and so that's. Uh, that makes the airbag deployment a lot more violent, but if you can anticipate the crash, the airbag deployment can be um, much better than, uh, than, than just uh, impact.